Ed Astra is a sci-fi thriller from director James Gray, whose films till now, including Little Odessa, The Yards, We Own the Night, The Immigrant, and The Lost City of Zed, have been distinguished by their intelligence and visual grace. Official wisdom has it that a space movie that isn't part of an established franchise is a tough commercial sell, and even the presence of Brad Pitt as an astronaut who takes a journey into deep space is no guarantee the film will find an audience. Which would be a pity, because despite some flaws, Ad Astra is powerful stuff. It's set in the near future when other planets are being vigorously explored. Humanity looks to the stars, proclaims an opening title. Something alarming is happening to the Earth's atmosphere. Destructive electrical storms emanating from space and known as the surge are starting to cause major problems. The moon, it seems, is a pretty uninviting place where fast food chains flourish and life is no improvement over that back on Earth. Stanley Kubrick made a similar observation in 2001. And the moon also proves to be dangerous since rival interests are fighting a war over mining assets. Inevitably, Ad Astra is also being compared to Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness and to the celebrated film adapted from that novel, Apocalypse Now. It's a tasty idea for a space thriller, and Gray, with a great deal of help from his charismatic star and his cinematographer, Hoyt van Hoytema, has produced a rich, suspenseful, intelligent outer space epic. Ad Astra may, in the end, lack the towering vision of Kubrick in 2001, but it's still a pretty terrific picture. There are some drawbacks. Roy's voiceover narration, which feels added on for the benefit of audiences who aren't quite getting it, grates at times, and subsidiary roles, especially Liv Tyler's Girl Back Home, are perfunctory. Still, James Gray's style overcomes the film's few drawbacks, and the result is a space movie for adults. I'm giving Ed Astra three and a half stars.